Hi everybody, just wanted to do a real quick video. This is the Troy Industries carbine that they're having uh, as a Black Friday special, Thanksgiving 2012, on uh, Dick's Sporting Goods store. So in stores, these are $800. And uh, what's nice about this, is, uh, compared to a lot of other AR style carbines out there, is it's a full free float tube, so there's no contact with the barrel up here. It's uh, only contact point is back here. And you have a more of a medium contour barrel instead of those weird M4 style cutouts where it's real thin under the handguard and all that. You've got a low profile gas block inside here. And there are flip-up front sights and a flip-up toward rear sight, but obviously this rifle is meant to be used with an optic or good quality scope. With the free float rail and medium contour barrel, you can kind of get the most uh, out of that scope. Uh, this is a 5.56 chambered firearm, and the twist rate is 1 in 7. So this comes with the uh, some sort of Troy uh, flash hider compensator there. Uh, obviously, it'll be different if you live in a band state, so they'll have to put different accessories on there. This also has the Troy battle axe stock, which is which is an adjustable stock uh, in states that are free, uh, and there's a little storage compartment back here that opens up. There's also a little storage compartment in the pistol grip that opens up. I like the texture on the pistol grip; it seems to work fine for me. Um, the only other rifle I have to compare this to is my Smith and Wesson MMP15 Optics Ready rifle, and compared to the Optics Ready, uh, I just this rifle doesn't feel any heavier, but it definitely feels more solid. I guess it's because of the metal rail up here. Uh, with the MMP Optics Ready, you've got the carbine front sight gas block, and then your handguard is not free floated, so your handguard is putting stress on the barrel when you shoot. The one thing that's a little bit cheesy about this is they give you what looks like a 30 round magazine. It's a 30 round magazine body, but internally it's limited to 10 round magazine. So there's some blocks or something inside the follower. Uh, and that's the only one they give you. Of course, you can use standard AR-15 magazines. I've heard rumors online that some of the Magpul P-Mags may be a little tight in the magwell and may not drop free. Uh, supposedly they work, but you just have to give them a tug to pull them out when they're empty. And I've heard that the aluminum magazines uh, will work fine in here, but there's something about the P-Mags is a little bit tight on the magwell. Of course, you can buy the Troy Industries uh, branded battle mags. They sell them for $15 a piece or a pack of three for $45 at the Dick's Sporting Goods store where I bought this rifle or, or any other good quality AR style standard magazine. Iron sights that are provided on this rifle are really kind of backup iron sights. Like I said, they're designed to be used with a scope. This one is a front is a push button. It flips up out of the Troy Alpha rail and it is adjustable in the normal way. Uh, you can screw it in, uh, in or out, which makes it up and down for your elevation adjustment. On the back here, you've got the Troy flip-up battle sight on the back. It also is a push-button release, and it is adjustable only left and right for windage. It has a um, dual aperture, large or small, and there's a screw on the left here you can use to change the aperture left to right. Hint, you can use a cart empty cartridge case 223 rim to actually turn the little notch in there if you don't have a small coin or screwdriver. This is not adjustable for elevation. It does not have a drum adjustment on it, so it's just a single point set a single elevation for your iron sights. Now what you're going to see is the absolute first shots out of this rifle. I've just taken it out of the box and uh, I've done a few strip and inspection on it, but I haven't uh, you know, cleaned it or anything like that. It's got plenty of lube on it from the factory. Uh, it's, well, it's well wet from the factory with oil still. Going hot! Closing thoughts on this while I close out this video. This has been a quick and dirty video. I'll follow up with a more detailed range report later as I shoot more rounds. But for now, my initial impressions, this is my first day with the gun. Uh, it seems to be very solid. I like the Troy Alpha rail. I like the medium contour barrel. I was not able to test accuracy today, so please don't read anything into this. I'm going to have to have uh, more precision iron sights or have a good quality scope mounted to really take advantage of the accuracy that I think is hidden in this gun. Uh, there's a medium contour barrel there, free float rail. I have high expectations for it. Um, the iron sights are just for backup. So, a couple of closing thoughts on this is 
The stock, I thought it was okay. I know it looks weird, but uh, I was able to use it no problem. The grip texture is pretty good. I like the storage compartment. The mag well on here, that was definitely an issue. Even with the issued 10 round Troy Battle Mag, it was not dropping free as you saw in the video. Uh, so I've got some aluminum magazines when I get home. I'll try those out. Um, sorry, I didn't have any different ammo to test for you. I just happened to pick this up at the store because I didn't expect I was going to be buying a gun today. Uh, but I just happened to see this uh, yesterday at the Dick Sporting Goods sale and they were giving it for the Black Friday special of $800. So at that price, I couldn't say no. I kind of had to get it. Uh, my goal is to turn this into... Uh, what some people call like a special purpose rifle. Um, I would call it a medium range optics rifle. I'm expecting to shoot two to 300 yards with a good quality optic and get decent accuracy out of it that way. I know this is not a precision match rifle and uh, I don't expect it to be that. I just expect it to be a good rifle for an optic. With that in mind, uh, I will follow up with another video later and I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving. Stay safe and have fun and Merry Christmas.